Good morning, guys. It's Paul. Um, I'm out here reading the Bible, and I'm going to share a dream I had this morning. Pretty intense one, actually. Today is uh, September 3rd, 2023. <clears throat> and um, I went to bed asking the Lord last night. I said, Lord, um, what is it that I could tell, you know, your the body of Christ? What can I tell them that you want them to know, you know, like in the times we're going in? And this dream was very clear what it was. So I entered into this dream uh, as a witness and I was being shown in spirit who is in the tribulation. So it was kind of like at first I was wandering around and um, I saw different groups of people. I saw like the military types, you know, the ones that they put all their trust in uh, guns and weapons and they're walking around like uh, private militias. They were left behind. I saw um, I saw people I would I would put in the category of idol worshippers. They were uh, kind of lost, and you know, maybe they turned to God in this period. I don't know, but they were just running for their lives and hiding places. And, and the interesting thing is, I saw these this group of people, and they could have only have been either angels or maybe believers come back in their spiritual form. They were really really good looking and healthy looking and uh they were like human bodied but they were glowing and they were just gorgeous it was and i saw people throwing rocks at them and it would just bounce off them and it wouldn't even it wouldn't hurt them and they were walking around smiling but not saying anything and it was it was as if to show a spiritual presence in the middle of the craziness and then the scene changed and I saw people hiding in a school and they looked like spiritual people so they may or may not have been I don't know believers but not maybe not serious believers I don't know but um, they had managed to lock themselves in a school that was very very solid it had like very big plexiglass windows that people couldn't break and uh, I was watching these people and one one thing that caught my attention was there was a man who had I guess he struggled with lust and he, he had a box of two Barbie dolls that could be put together and he put one together and it was a really lifelike looking uh, female doll and this was like his private secret and it was his um, Clearly he struggled with lust and then he heard a, a banging at the noise and then he put it away in a bookshelf and other people came to talk to them and that's when I realized while I was watching it that this person was one of the leaders of this spiritual group or whatever. So he, his secrets had kept him behind too. So anyway, they got his attention and they brought him to the door and I saw, a I don't know why I thought they were German, but they were dressed it was weird. They had beige uniforms that looked like the French Foreign Legion. But when they opened the door, they were they were soaking wet. It was raining outside. And the man had opened the door just enough to tell him, we want to let you in, but we are... The, the night shift is sleeping, is what he said. And it was the early morning, and these people were like, it's okay, we can wait till you're ready to let us in. And the man had pity on them so he let them in and their eyes gave them away as they were going to do something evil like they were going to take over and i knew in spirit that these were military men but anyway that's where the dream ended and this dream started over many times like i must have got up about four or five times thinking the first two times it was just <laughs> biology i had to go to the washroom but the other three times, I think it was five times in total I got up, I, I kept getting bothered in spirit while I was dreaming this that I may be, you know, I, I always test the spirits. That's all I could say. So anyway, without a shadow of a doubt, this was from God. And um, be careful, be careful what you believe in. 
So I came across something while I was reading Deuteronomy today. Listen very carefully to what this says. This is actually um, Deuteronomy 5, 7 to 21 is the Ten Commandments. But there was a note in my study guide here that said, A God is whatever people use as a driving force in their lives. Some people literally worship other gods by joining cults or strange religions. In a more subtle way, many of us worship other gods by building our lives around something other than the one true God. And then it says, if your greatest desire is for popularity, power, or money, you are devoting yourself to something other than God. You have to put God first. Recognize what is taking place in your life. Renounce the substitute God as unworthy of your devotion. Ask God for forgiveness. Reconstruct your priorities so that your love for God is the motive for everything you do. Examine yourself daily. Be sure you are living, uh, you are living for God and He's first in your life. So anyway, that's the message. Uh, I hope you guys have a good day. I love you. Talk to you later. Bye.